Hi there, and welcome to my review for the Wild Pear Tree. So the Wild Pear Tree is a long and slow film coming out of Turkey. It's three hours long and it's basically just this slow burning family drama about a man returning to his hometown and to finding that his father has lost all his dignity and respectability amongst the town's community and finding that he struggles to find himself in this new world. He wants to be a novelist but it's kind of difficult for him to get a book published. So. The Wild Pear Tree is an interesting film. It's a film of circular conversation. The whole film is a conversation piece, essentially. Every single scene revolves around people talking. And I mean people talking. They talk for a long time and there's a lot of conversations. And the conversations are filled with subtext, they're filled with philosophical ideas, they're filled with quotes from famous people, and they're filled with a lot of character-defining moments. The whole film is just this long series of conversations. And most of these conversations are actually quite interesting. They're certainly drag on a bit to start with, but you get some that are really wonderful. A particular highlight is a long conversation to do with religion and Islam and its place in the world, which is a really long and fascinating conversation that I actually think is one of the film's strongest scenes. The film is slow, deliberately so, and that's fine. It's certainly a film which requires patience, and I will say that, to be honest, I do think it's a bit sluggish at first. It certainly takes a while to get going and to really get to grips with where it's trying to go or seemingly I got had to get to grips with where it was trying to go. But luckily after the first two hours it really picks up and the final hour is really really solid stuff. The final hour is where the cinematography also gets really great because then the film starts using these snowy landscapes and that makes the film look really beautiful. It's also worth mentioning that the final final scenes are really fascinating because they basically provide the climax to everything that's come before and they really boost the film a lot. The lead character of in here is very cynical. He wants to be the guy who's thinking and rational and doesn't listen to other people's emotions. In fact, he seems to ignore other people's emotions so much. But in the end, he himself is kind of a romantic. I mean, he wants to escape his life, but that's what he writes about. That's the only thing he can write about. So really, he's not really escaping anything. And to some extent, the film leaves you with an ending which is to some extent quite bitter, to some extent it's quite a complex revelation that life is ultimately worthless, that life will repeat and that life will be as pointless for you as it will for everybody else. And what's really strange is when the film really sort of begins to pick apart the fact that life itself means nothing and is completely worthless, it manages to make the characters talk about it and suggest ideas about life's worthlessness that makes that idea actually sound positive, to make the idea that life has no purpose be a good thing, which is a strangely profound thing for any film to do and I think that's a real strength of The Wild Pear Tree. So The Wild Pear Tree has these great ideas, it really explores deep-rooted issues, it really explores these characters thoroughly and the whole film has this really interesting feel to it. It's an intellectual film, a cerebral film, you just need to sit there with it, you need to stay with it and it is certainly a difficult film. So I don't think this is a film for everybody at all and personally I think although I have advocated many times for long talkative art house films before and I will continue to do so, to me this film didn't feel as profound or as gripping as so many other films from this genre. There is a lot of other films by other directors who produce these kind of films that I think are a lot more engaging. That said, The Wild Pear Tree really succeeds when it wants to and that final hour is an absolute knockout. It's an amazing set of scenes. And there's so many profound conversations and moments and there is a really strong ending which kind of sets forth another cycle that is interesting and so the whole film builds up something that is worthwhile and I would certainly recommend this to anyone who wants to check it out even though I do think there is many better examples of this kind of cinema out there. So The Wild Pear Tree to me I think it's a really good film but I wouldn't say anything more positive than that. So that's what I think of The Wild Pear Tree. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've seen it, so please leave me a comment. If you like this review, please give it a like. If you want to read more of my reviews, you can follow me on Letterboxd or Twitter, linked in the description. If you want to watch more of my reviews, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching, and The Wild Pear Tree, it's a good film.